Hey everyone, my name is Tristan and welcome to my small workshop in my basement. This video is the first of a multiple part series where I'll build a new armor made completely out of EVA foam. One of the things I like most about cosplay is doing character mashups. Two of my favorite pop culture characters are Iron Man and Toothless from How to Train Your Dragon. So I'm gonna make an armor that combines the two. I had the idea of making the armor when I found this artwork on the web. So I'm gonna base my entire costume out of this picture. In this first part of the series, we are gonna make the boots, which look to be the most fun part of the costume to make. So let's not waste any time and get right into the build. This is the picture I'm gonna base my entire costume on. Today we're only gonna make the boots. The first thing I'm gonna make is the sole of the boot. For that, I'm gonna be using 10mm thick EVA foam. After measuring the length of my foot, I traced the shape of the sole on my foam. Then I sharpened my knife and carefully cut out the traced shape. Of course I'll make two boots, for that I need to make a mirror of each piece I cut out. To do this I just flip the piece, trace it and then cut it out of the foam. Now that I have my two soles I'm gonna take 8mm foam to make the walls of my boots. The first piece I'll make is the inside wall and I use the sole that I just cut out as a reference for dimensions. When the piece is all traced out, I use a very sharp knife to cut it out of the foam. Then of course to make a mirror piece, I flip it, trace it again and cut it out. I want to add details to those pieces because right now they don't look very good. For that I'm gonna cut a slit on the top half of the boot and then glue it back together on a lower level. But to add even more dimension, I'm gonna dremel the edges to make them look rounder. Now all I have to do is take my hot glue gun and glue the pieces back together on a lower level. Now I want to make the back walls of the boots. Essentially they're just going to be big rectangles. Of course I use the measurements from the other pieces as reference. When cutting the piece out I make sure to cut the top and bottom straight but to make an inward angle on the two sides. Then I flip and trace this piece to cut a second one out which is mirrored. Next I use my heat gun to shape the pieces and make them rounder. Now it's time to glue together all of the pieces I just made. I make sure to sand down the texture of the foam where I'll apply glue later to make it stick better. Now I can apply glue to all the pieces, then let them dry for a couple of minutes and then stick them together. Off camera I made the front walls of the boots using the same techniques as before. Then I of course applied glue to them and stuck them to the base of the boots. Same thing goes for the outside walls of the boots. To add some details to the outside walls of the boots, I cut out some strips of thin EVA foam and then glued them down using super glue. I also glued down triangles to the top of the boots using hot glue. So there is the base of the boots all completed. I would love to add trimming to the top and bottom of the boots. For that I'm using strips of thick EVA foam which I'll glue to the boots using contact cement. If you didn't know, the way contact cement works is you apply a thin coat on both the pieces you want to stick together, then you wait until the glue is not liquid anymore but still tacky, and then you just stick the pieces together. Thank you. 
Now it's time to make the toes or claws which are on the front of the boots. For that I'm tracing and cutting out 16 2x2 inch squares out of 10mm EVA foam. And of course I use a very sharp exacto knife. Then I apply contact cement on the untextured side of each of the piece and then I stick together pairs to make 8 thick EVA foam blocks. After that I use a super sharp exacto knife to cut out the excess foam from two adjacent sides from each block of foam. Now it's time for some carving. Using an exacto knife I have to carve into each of the block to make a claw like shape which I'll refine later. After carving the pieces I refine the shape using a dremel. Those claws took me about an hour to make. Now to make sure the texture is the same on each claw, I heat seal them using my heat gun. Off camera I made 8 little backing pieces which go behind each claw to add some detail. Those pieces also get heat sealed. Now all that's remaining is to add contact cement to every single piece and then glue them down to the boots. To add even more details to the boots, I cut out two circles out of 8mm EVA foam. Next I use a sharpened PVC pipe to cut the center out. After that I use hot glue to glue the round pieces back into the circles but on a lower level. Then using my sharpened PVC pipe I cut out two new circles out of the same thickness of EVA foam. And I add round laser cut pieces of wood in the center of them to add more detail. Then using hot glue, I glue the bigger circles on the bottom of the boots and the smaller circles on the top of the boots. Now it's time to make the kneecaps. They are simply made out of the two pieces you can see on screen. And of course they are glued together using contact cement. Before gluing the kneecaps in I had to remove a part of the top of the boots to give them some space. I did that using a really sharp exacto knife. Next I just add contact cement to both of the pieces and stick them together. And we are done with the first part of my costume. So there are the final boots. Of course I have to paint them, but the entire construction is all finished. So I think they turned out really good and most importantly they are really comfortable to wear. So of course I had to put an old pair of shoes in the bottom of the boots so that my foot won't move around when I'll walk with them. But other than that, it's pretty much it. So this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. In the next part of the series, I'm gonna make the thigh pieces. So I'll catch you then. Bye.